Hi, my name is Strahl. I'm a master's student at Mullah Sikotsman University in the Department of Zoological Engineering. Today, I'll measure the cadian exchange capacity of clay soils by metal and below. It's a kind of quick determination technique for the common type of clay minerals. The cadian exchange capacity is a property of the absorbing and absorbing ionic species in solution. This capacity is measured in terms of total number of charged ions which can be fixed on the surface of the clays. Okay, for the analysis, we need magnetic stirrer or mechanical stirrer, burette, sieve number 200, beaker, spatula, pipette, filtered paper, metal and blue, agate mortar and pestle, soil and distilled water. Okay, let's do analysis. First of all, make your soil harder by using agate mortar and pestle. And see with seal number 200. This is a soil that passed seal number 200. For the analysis, we need 7.5 gram soil. Let's weigh it. After weight 7.5 gram soil, add the 50 milliliter distilled water to the soil. And mix it one minute. Now we can prepare our metal and blue solution. It's important to arrange the normality in preparation of the metal and blue solution. The normality should be 0.028. So for the purpose of the arranged normality, 5 gram metal and blue should be mixed with 500 milliliter distilled water or 2.5 gram metal and blue should be mixed with 250 milliliter distilled water. Actually, it depends on how much sample you want to analyze this. Well, I have just one sample to analyze this. That's why I'm going to mix 1.25 gram methylene blue with the 125 milliliter distilled water. Okay, let's do it. After we 1.25 gram methylene blue, add 125 milliliter distilled water and mix it magnetic stirrer one minute there is two options to use shrink or burette to add metal and blue solution to the soil water mixture. It depends on you know, which one you have. Well, I'm going to use burette in case I have. Okay, let's make burette ready for the analysis. Okay, everything is ready for the analysis. Let's do it. At the beginning, I'll add 3 cc metal and blue solution to the soil water mixture and mix it one minute. That's it. Okay. That's it. One minute for magnetic After one minute, stop the magnetic stirrer and take the droplet from the mixture by using pipette and place the droplet on the filtered paper. The aim of the analysis is to see light blue halo around the dark blue like this. This is a light blue halo around the dark blue. This means that cation substitution between clay minerals and metal blue stops. But now as you see, there is a white halo around the dark blue. 
So this means that the methylene blue absorbing is continuous. So let's continue analysis. Again, I'll add 3 cc methylene blue solution to the mixture again. And mix it again one minute by magnetic stirrer. After one minute, again stops the magnetic stirrer and takes a droplet from the mixture and puts the droplet on the piece of paper. Unfortunately, there isn't any light blue hollow around the dark blue. So let's continue the analysis until to see light blue hollow around the dark blue. Same procedure. I would like to show you the light blue hollow almost want to seem like a sunshine, light blue hollow, like a sunshine around the dark blue. But it's not clear, so let's continue the analysis to see it clearly. Now it's possible to see it clearly. It's the light blue halo around the dark blue, like a sunshine. The cleanliness is full totally by the metal blue. But after to see light blue halo around the dark blue, we have to check if it's our end point or not. So without adding any metal blue. Mix your mixture again one minute and take the droplet from the mixture and place the droplet on the filtered paper. Three times this procedure have to be repeated. If there isn't any changes, this means that it's your end point. Let's do it. There isn't any changing on my result. So this means that the 10cc is my end point.